Mr. Trump now faces a situation in which the presiding officer will serve as both judge with all the powers that the rules endow him with and juror with a vote. And beyond that, the presiding officer, although enjoying a lifelong honorable reputation, of course, has been Mr. Trump's vocal and adamant opponent throughout the Trump administration and in fact, in the very matter on trial, the presiding officer respectfully already has publicly announced his fixed view before hearing any argument or evidence that Mr. Trump must be convicted on the article of impeachment before the Senate and indeed that members in both parties have an obligation to vote to convict as well. Nowhere in this great country would any American and certainly not this honorable presiding officer consider this scenario to be consistent with any stretch of the American concept of due process and a fair trial, and certainly not even the appearance of either. By no stretch of the imagination could any fair-minded American be confident that a trial so conducted would or could be the fair trial promised by the leader.